Hey Virgo, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. It should resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Uh, for those of you guys that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. This can either be your situation or your partner's situation. It kind of just depends on who's watching it and whatever energy I'm picking up for Virgo. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also, too, please feel free to comment. I love reading uh, what you guys have to say and, um, you know, interacting with you guys on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So <clears throat> for whatever reason, if this reading does resonate and you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please feel free to check out my link in the description uh, to my website, which is accurateasfktarot.com. With that being said, Virgo, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. Okay, who is Virgo's person of interest romantically or their partner? Who is their partner or person of interest romantically? Okay, nine of wands. You guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius or you guys could be at a standstill right now with your person. Um, how does Virgo feel about them romantically? How does Virgo feel about their personal interest romantically? Okay, four of wands. Beautiful. Possibly an Aries. There's a lot of fire here. What, is the, what does Virgo feel like is the current issue or situation? What's the current issue or situation with this relationship or situation? Okay. Queen of Cups. Possibly a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. More so Cancer energy. What is an external influence here? It's an external influence or a block for this. These two moving forward romantically. Okay. The world. So either a Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or Capricorn. That could be the block or the fact that, you know, there's just something that's changing. A cycle is coming to an end. Okay. And what is the best potential outcome for this week? It's for Virgo, love and romance. Virgo, love and romance. Okay. The Emperor. Hey, kind of interesting. That's Aries. But, um, you know... Uh, how do I explain this? Uh, Capricorn also had this. Okay, some Virgo, they do want to say this. You guys are either dealing with a Gemini or you are in love with this person, okay? I feel like you're ready to give yourself. You're ready to give your all to them. You feel like you're in that place where, you know, you're willing to really give your heart. You're really willing to open yourself up and, you know, either offer marriage, have marriage offered, or offer to take the relationship to the next level. Um, I feel very strongly on the fact that for you, you feel like you're destined to be with this person. And ironically enough, in this deck, the lovers actually, let me see if I can show you this. So, um, I don't know if you guys care or not, but I'm going to tell you anyways. The lovers are actually about when the emperor and the empress uh, get together and they consummate their marriage. So when these two get together and they're married and they're, you know, then you have the lovers. Nothing can break that apart. And they're two very dominant, dominant uh, people that are involved. Okay. So um, your, per your person of interest, you guys could definitely be at a distance from one another. You guys could not be speaking or there's something that's happened. Maybe there's a waiting period here. Can you give me more information about Virgo's person of interest? Ten of Swords. Okay, Gemini. There could have been something that was said or something that you have seen that really, really either transformed the situation, uh, forced this person to move on. King of Wands. Possibly with a Leo, Aries, or a Sag or heavy Leo vibes. Um, let me let me ask something really quick. Let me put this back because I want to be very clear. Why, why is the Ten of Swords here for the person of interest? Okay, the tower. There was a tower moment possibly caused by an Aries or an Aries is, a, is involved here or a Capricorn or a Scorpio. What's the energy of the tower? The Five of Swords, something was said, somebody was lying, somebody was 
betraying somebody. There was definitely something here that was heard or something that was said by this person. Um, and I do feel like, or a Pisces, okay? Because you do have the hangman here. I feel like you're very stuck on this person, but I also feel like they're kind of also stuck. I don't know if that makes sense. It's like they're trying to figure out where they should invest in. This person, um, for whatever reason, Virgo, may be uh, very spiritual. Somebody that believes in like rituals, you know, whether that's tarot or psychics or, you know, the universe. They understand things at a different level. And I think that for this person, it's like certain things happen. And for you, it's like, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. Well, this has to equal this in order for this. But in reality, it's like this person is really allowing things to take its course. They feel like the tower moment happened for a reason. And now they're just kind of sitting back and waiting and watching for things to um, kind of not necessarily fall apart, but for it to reveal why it happened. Like this person is very much like this happened for a reason. And now they're sitting there and I don't know if there's a lot of communication between the two of you guys. Um, possibly a Gemini because I said, what, what are they waiting for? And it's the magician. So they may be waiting for some type of action or some type of communication on how things are changing or how things are going to evolve. This can also be that they're waiting for you, Virgo, because you're also the magician. Yep, they're waiting for you, Virgo, the hermit. Okay. They're waiting for you to come out of your shell and really express them yourself to them. Okay, you have the nine of cups for this person. I think that this person is very loving and caring and giving. I think that there is a definite, a sense of, you know, happiness here. I think that this person, you know, you really do feel like for whatever reason that there's a lot of love here and sometimes it's overwhelming. Um, and sometimes I think Virgo, it, there's a level of hesitation because this person, I, I really do feel like you really do love them. One more card, please, for Virgo's person of interest. Possibly a Pisces. Or a Gemini. Or a... This is you, Virgo. Also, too, I think that they're a little bit like... Because this card is about discontent, right? It's like maybe this person, and maybe this is how you feel about them, but either way... It's like what's being offered, they're accepting it, but they're not completely happy with what's being given. It's not enough for them. They feel like it's not enough. It's like, yeah, you showed up, but then what did you do? You know what I mean? Like, okay, I need something different. This is what this, is what this person is screaming. I need something different. Okay, you have the Eight of Pentacles. That's Virgo. Uh, also, you guys are possibly dealing with another Virgo. However... I do feel like this person is very different than anybody that you've ever dated. I think that that's why, you know, that you, you're in love with them. Because what you normally, what people are normally attracted to you, Virgo, it's like this person changes it. They don't want physical shit. It's like, what are you going to do emotionally for me? I want conversation. I want action. Like, you know, keep your pentacles to yourself. Like, you need to show up. You know, show up or show out. And I do feel strongly that this is really kind of with this person. It's like you have to come out of the box and be somebody completely different. And I don't know if you're ready for that. However, how you feel about them is a four of wands. So you view this person as somebody, you know, that's very stable. Somebody that, you know, <clears throat> is great at manifesting things. Somebody that has the ability to take action and take what they want. You know, they may have a very nice home. They provide a home. That's, that's you know, um, comfortable and fun. Um, you know, you have the Prince of Wands here. So Gemini, 
but also it could be too, you know, Sagittarius, uh, Leo, or Aries. You feel like Virgo, honestly. You're more cautious with how you care. You're more thoughtful where this person is very, has a very masculine energy. So they express what they want to you. They're very approachable. They're very sociable. However, they adapt to situations. They're open-minded. They're intuitive. You know, they communicate what they want with you. And maybe they've communicated the fact like, hey, let's move in. Hey, let's settle down. Hey, let's do something different. But I also feel like you're highly attracted to this person because they're always seeking. They're always exploring. And I think that, okay, Princess of Swords, they have air. They have the ability to communicate. However, I do think for whatever reason, Virgo, something is very uneasy with you. Like you're worried that maybe they lie sometimes or like they're hiding something or, you know, that they have the ability to stalk. Maybe they're lying about a third party situation, about a cancer. Okay. Because you do have the three of cups here. How does uh, Virgo feel about this three of cups for their person of interest? The king of cups, possible Pisces, Scorpio, or uh, cancer, who, or, or even a Leo. Because Leos are definitely fixed signs or kings. Just want to throw that out there. So, yeah. Okay. Anyways, how, how does Virgo feel about this king of cups? Two of wands. Let me ask one more time. I need a very clear, very clear. How does Virgo feel about their partner and this king of cups? High priestess. See, that's what I'm saying, though. I think that there's something that's hidden here. You feel like they're hiding this King of Cups, which makes you nervous. But I do want to say this, Virgo, this can all be in your head, okay? Like, it definitely can be something because you guys are so analytical that you're constantly thinking of all these things and worrying that something's not perfect or right. But this can be something that you're coming up with in your head. However, you feel like they're hiding it. You feel like there's something that you can't see. Like they're only allowing you to see something very surface level. That there's something that they're hiding. What 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 is uh why, why do they feel like they're hiding them? Because of the ten of pentacles. Something pertaining to home. Maybe you feel like this person completes you, or maybe the fact that they want a life with you. So it's like they don't want to explain or express about this other person. So instead of that, they hide it. Look at the seven. Look at the seven of swords. See how the kids have been like, shh, don't tell. I'm over here trying to creep out. You feel like they're talking to them behind your back. That's it in a nutshell. I don't want to focus or fixate on this, but you definitely feel like this person is talking behind your back to this other person while you're working. You feel like you're working and they're talking to them. Because they're more drawn to them. They may be at a distance. Okay, let, I'm going to stop fixating because I feel like you guys want to know a lot about that. But I think we got to get on with the reading. Um, <clears throat> what does Virgo like about this person? What does Virgo like about this person? Queen of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, or Libra. You know, I think that you really like the fact that this person is, it's like you can't put your hand on them. I don't want to sit here and say like, I don't like the, oh, it's a chick or it's a dude or whatever. I think that just in general, I think that this person comes across as very caring and thoughtful, somewhat cautious. Right now they're being more refined. They're not necessarily very expressive emotionally. Maybe they are expressive emotionally, but maybe they're not. But but they're highly emotional. This person hides how emotional they are. Why? Because it's something here with the two of swords, so that's definitely Libra. This person is hiding how they feel emotionally until some type of promise is made or some type of promise is kept, some type of promise is followed through on. 
It's like they're blocking out their emotions with you, Virgo, until some until you you pay up on something that you promise them. And I think for them, until that happens, they're just they're they're not as emotional. But you like that for some odd reason. It's like you like how smart they are. How they're always asking why. They're very receptive of you. They understand you too, I think. Um, what is Virgo not like about their person of interest? The King of Cups? Yo, you do not like this King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Leo. Why? Seven of Wands. Because you feel like they're talking behind your back. You feel like, like you don't like the fact that, that you feel very strongly, Virgo, on the fact that they're talking to this other person. It's like you need clarity. You want them to clarify. Like you want to physically see that this person has reached out. Like your partner has reached out to this person and said, yo, cut that shit. It's done. Like you want to see that strongly. All right. So now for the situation, we have the Queen of Cups. Why is this here? Because of the eight of wands there was some type of communication about a water sign how does uh virgo feel about this water sign six of cups you may feel like there was a past relationship with them you may feel like this person has kids with them um one more card it was the four of cups oh it just popped out again i tried to put it back i think that you're pouting I think that, you know, you feel like this per like something's going on, you just don't know what. And I think that whatever little information is being offered, you're like, no, possibly a cancer. Okay, Prince of Swords. Okay, by a Gemini. Maybe you feel like a Gemini is not necessarily expressing themselves. Like this Gemini isn't necessarily explaining exactly what's going on here. Why? because of the two of cups because of the cancer pisces or gemini um how does virgo feel about this two of cups romantically does virgo feel about this two of cups eight of pentacles reversed i think that you would feel like things wouldn't work out like there would no longer be you and this person working out together i do want to say this this could all be fabricated in your head. Not saying you're crazy, but I think that maybe this person isn't having that type of relationship, or maybe they are, but it's not as deep as you think it is. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. There's a level of boredom here. A level of tiredness. It's like you're tired. they're tired of waiting. So maybe they're willing to go to get it somewhere else. Um... Also, Virgo, I feel like you and this person are not having sex as frequently, so that's also an issue. I don't know why I just told you guys that, but I did. Um, okay, well, it's, so we already know what's causing the situation, how Virgo feels about it. Um, I think you're trying to be strong. I think that you're really trying to kind of hone in on the information that's being given to you. Um, okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and hop over to the external influence or the block, the world. Okay, what, what needs to be learned? The chariot. Cancer. There has to be some forward movement with change. It's like if a situation is coming to an end, there's something to be taught there, and we do have to have something that is moving forward. What needs to move forward? The nine of pentacles. Okay, that's you, Virgo. Why, why are you showing that Virgo needs to move forward? Or why is this a block? Because of the Seven of Cups. Okay, this is what it is, Virgo. You ready for it? Buckle up, buttercup, because here it comes. The world. There's a lesson here. The lesson is you have to, what's blocking you, is the fact that you're not really ready to move forward with this person. Because there's too many what-ifs. And that's what's blocking you. What's blocking you guys from having this great relationship, lovers and all gifted, those are two of the best cards, right? What's stopping this is, is you thinking of too many options. How do I know it's you? Because the Nine of Pentacles is goddamn Virgo, okay? 
you're too busy trying to figure out like, does this work? Is there another person? It's like, you're too busy in your head and you're not doing any action and you're not communicating to this person in the manner that they need. Princess of Cups, okay? It's like, you're not expressing emotionally, like you're being very passive aggressive right now. That's also Earth, right? For you, I feel like you're too busy investigating shit and not acting on it. That's what's blocking you, Virgo. Yeah, the moon. I said, because why is Virgo doing this? The moon, possibly over a Pisces or a Cancer. Or the fact that shit's hidden. You feel like there's just too much stuff that's hidden. Um, and for you, it's like you want to bring that to the light because you do have the sun here, possibly a Leo. Um, before there can be any type of change with you guys romantically, okay? Because you do have change, or you do have the Wheel of Fortune with the Four of Wands. It's like before you guys can have this type of forward movement, you have to have this very clear image of what you want, okay? That's what I'm getting strongly. Now, for you guys' outcome, you do have the Emperor, okay? So obviously... The emperor is somebody who takes control, takes the bull by the horns, you know, makes a decision. Um, this is definitely more so of a masculine energy. This is definitely Aries. Um, also, too, it's a first star. It's like your very first house, right? Um, this is also, too, for women. It's like we look at people like our, our Mars really dictates who we date our Mars and our Venus. Like our Mars is who, what type of men we look at, where for men, their Venus shows you what kind of women they like, right? So for you guys, I definitely feel like here, um, initiating something, something quick needs to happen, something very passionate, and you have to take lead of this situation or something needs to have some type of lead. Something's being determined and something's being decided here. Uh, for those of you guys that this has brought enough clarity, um, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.